one of the most common things people will ask me is, how do we avoid margin compression, whether it's in an inflation cycle or other business cycles? We've got eight key things that you can do starting today in order to avoid margin compression problems. Hi, my name is Garth Hoff. I'm a principal solution consultant at PriceFX and industry expert. Over the last four years, I've been helping companies utilize pricing software through some of the most challenging and disruptive times. Move from a reactive to a proactive stance on pricing. Utilize real-time strategies and real-time cost and pricing in order to make those changes on a more frequent basis. Allocate your cost increases by segment. Not all price changes were created equal. Some customers have a higher willingness to pay, others a lower. Utilize automated pricing strategies in order to allocate your cost changes to different market segments differently to achieve a higher overall result. Review your cost to serve and look at cost recovery opportunities. These are things like packaging, warehousing, special services, delivery, and so on. Your customers will all have a different cost to serve and there should be a cost recovery adjustment that goes along with those. Make sure you have the most updated information and change those allocations frequently to avoid margin compression. Double check your rebates, your discounts, and promotions. This is a perfect time to make sure that all of your on invoice and off invoice discounting still makes sense. Maybe you should move somebody from a discount to a rebate, or maybe some of these programs should be discontinued altogether. Review your product and customer hierarchies for underperformance. You may need to look at discounting tiers or segments and update those because the information is out of date or the marketplace has changed. This is the perfect opportunity in order to review those decisions and make them more impactful. Focus on value. Value is king in every pricing cycle. If somebody isn't valuing the service, look at removing that in order to reduce cost. If you have cost to serves, make sure you have cost recovery elements that offset them. Speed up your pricing approvals. Cost change cycles can be difficult and having long reviews can make that even harder. Whether it's pricing approvals or quote approvals, quick turns around those, get your prices out into the marketplace and create an opportunity for margin expansion faster. And last but not least, protect against margin leakage by utilizing pricing software. Manual processes just don't cut it anymore. You need automation in order to do cost changes, price changes, run simulations, and find opportunities for price improvements. You might have already rolled up your sleeves and started to address some of these issues head on right now, but Excel and other manual processes have limitations. One of the best things you can do is look for pricing software like PriceFX in order to implement automation around pricing. So we're more than happy to take a look at this with you at PriceFX to get margin expansion, to identify underperformers, and to look for better pricing across the enterprise. Visit our learning center at PriceFX if you're interested to learn more. Also, if you want to speak with an expert Expert, you can use the chatbot on our website and book time directly on our people's calendar. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to our video channel.